In third oh. place, we had Sergeant Vivian Gray with 38 votes. I'm so nervous. Why are there oh. so many DOC here? Well, cause here's what's gonna happen. Cause Keep I'm gonna mind, carry my, my Colt 1911. Uh, are you gonna be on duty or off duty? I guess I should be off duty for this, right? Yeah. No, I should be on duty. I'll just wear a suit. Cool. Cool. you think black or white? What do you think? I think the white really stands out. Okay. Well, yeah, we can do the white. Yes. You ready, Cornwood? No, I'm getting close, close to ready. Yep, I'm ready for war. No, we're here to support. Well, Cornwood, today's the day, brother. Either we make it or... Who are we shooting, by the way? Because Alice and Sky aren't on duty. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Huh. Or, hey, no, we'll hey, hey, hey. What do you call a big, fat, a big, <laughs> fat, Put round, yeah. baloney-eating, cornbread-eating, jambalaya fat fish? <laughs> Cornwood! Oh, I like Cornwood. <laughs> I like Cornwood. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow. Boo! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Space Force for Cornwood. All right, good shit. You're going to do the Space Force like you promised. Right? I don't remember ever talking about a Space Force. What? what? I have basically no recollection of any of that. I have an idea. <laughs> Raise your hand if you will volunteer to leave. Everyone doesn't need to be here. Leave. <laughs> Not a joke. All right, everybody oh. get the fuck out of here, I guess. Fuck, fuck this place. <laughs> Cornwood, Pinzone's oh, on here. Oh, I don't know if you can yeah, hear me. Howdy. Cornwood, Alice is on duty. So if we lose, I'm down to just mag them first. Sheriff's <laughs> office. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, that works. Hey. We have to go to Black, sheriff's Black, office. Right uh, up, please. Yeah, low down. Cornwood. Sheriff's office. Okay. okay. I've been y'all. I'll go in the... Oh, okay. Not my fault. You're a fucking... Oh, my... Oh. Oh, oh fuck! Ah, Holy shit! How do you? Sorry. Wow, that was so quick. Gears kicked it in the hyperdrive. Oh. All right, everyone, oh, please. Yeah. Everyone, everyone, please stop talking, please. please. Oh God, please. Well, let's get through this. Okay, uh, I am sending it. I hope the candidates can hear me. Viv, Cornwood, Bones, yes. Yeah, can hear oh. you. Cornwood. Okay, great. We are doing this. Um. Thank you all for your participation in what is the inaugural sheriff selection after the financial collapse and reconstruction of our great state. I will tell you right now that based on the legislation and the amount of effort that was put into this, we have, you know, far surpassed what we thought would have occurred uh, with this development. I can say confidently that this has been one of the most contentious and spirited campaigns we've ever seen for an election like this. I will say that before I get into the vote totals, I, I want to make something very clear. In the legislation for mayor, for example, it is so spelled out that the mayor is elected by popular vote, and then the mayor will appoint um, a chief of staff, right? And in the uh, LSPD chief selection process, it was spelled out that when the state selected the chief, the chief, uh, who is now Mr. Barrick over there, was allowed to select uh, his assistant chief. For this election, the state did not specify. However, that being said, the only parameter that was specified was the election would be for the sheriff position. There was no, um, I guess, belief that under sheriff would be a necessity by the state. They wanted the freedom for the sheriff to make their, that decision. However, given that both candidates who received uh, the closest vote totals ran on a campaign with a designated under sheriff, the state has made the following decision. The runner up of the sheriff's election will be appointed the under sheriff. Oh, shit. So I know oh. this has been a spirited and contentious campaign. Pain. So whoever ends up being the runner up, I hate to put you on the spot, um, but you will, you know, be offered the position of under sheriff. So think about that. This does not have to be something that, you know, you say yes or no to in front of all these people in this moment, but in the coming days, you know, that will need to be established of whether you're going to take that position and, you know, run with it. So here are the vote totals. Damn, that sucks for Pinzone. Uh, in fourth place, we had uh, Tag McQuillan with five votes. In third oh. place, we had um, Sergeant Vivian Gray with 38 votes. I'm so nervous. Second place vote total was 288. The first place vote total was 401. Oh, Damn. shit. So it is my esteemed pleasure and duty to announce that the elected sheriff of whatever they may deem to name their sheriff's office up here in the north is Sergeant Jeffrey Bones. Congratulations. Oh! Yeah! Oh! Yeah! Yeah! So, uh, 
And that being said, as I've already mentioned, uh, Mr. Cletus Cornwood has been, if he so chooses to accept, appointed by the state to the position of undersheriff based on the campaign that he ran and the obvious desire of the people to see him represented in the sheriff's office. Uh, That is, you know, up to him to accept or, you know, do what he will with that offer. Uh, I will now hand it off to the elected sheriff, Mr. Jeffrey Bones. Thank you. I'd like to uh, also gather your attention if uh, Mr. Cornwood or Miss Gray uh, would like to speak I'd like to also offer them you know the space to speak as they fought a hard-fought campaign and deserve just as much time to speak in this public forum thank you you go ahead <laughs> let, let them okay. get hit well hi hi guys I'm Vivian Gray not a lot of hey, you guys man. know me but hey, hey that's me I'm chef no. one sergeant hi. for everybody who voted for me thank you so much 38 is a lot more than I thought I'd get so uh I appreciate you thanks all right well um thank you everyone um I, was, I'm, I just know. couldn't hear I thought somebody was talking oh yeah sure. I couldn't hear you like to earlier. speak Mr Cornwood yeah uh, those of you who supported me, uh, thank you for doing so. Hell of a lot of work has gone into this for the last six months, five months really, is whenever I started pushing to open this thing. Been here a long time. Spent a lot of hours here, and I've gotten to know a lot of people in this city individually really damn well. Uh, whether you're a part of the PD, whether you're a civilian, whether you're, uh, you know, you do crime or any of that shit. But those of y'all who've been here through thick and thin, I appreciate you, and uh, we're just going to make this place the best damn place we can be. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're going to be taking the position. Are you going to be taking the position? Give him some time to figure that out on his own time, okay? All right, everybody. Thank you for showing up here. I appreciate y'all, but I'm sure, you know, everyone's got something to do. So um, I need to go ahead and uh, speak with uh, Mr. Bones a bit in terms of the technical difficulties and aspects, but the rest of everything, um, thank you guys for coming out here. Sorry for all the issues we had, but we got it done. So appreciate y'all. Thank you. <clears throat> no, it's, it's all good. I mean, we, we did the best we could. I agree. We just there's there's certain things in the city that you just can't beat. And and if people are spreading false narratives and shit, then it is what it is. I don't know someone's calling me. Hello. Hey man. How's Forte. it going? Hey. How you doing? How you doing? Ah, hell, I'm all right. You all right? Yeah, I just kind of have to decide what I want to do. Listen, I don't talk. I don't. I don't give these speeches to a lot of. Keep your chin up, dog. All right. Just keep your chin up. And I think based off of what went down, you'll know what to do. You'll make your own decisions, but there's bigger and better things for you to cook. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. I know this election might have been a lot, like literally everything. But today's not the end of the day. Today's not the end of everything. You got bigger and better fish to fry. It'll all prove everybody wrong. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I, I mean, it was my fault, really. No, I think it was the city's fault. Maybe. I lost faith in actually the logistics. And I'll be honest you know, with you, I lost a lot of faith today. I, I agree. You have to go to your meeting, don't you? Yeah. I just wish I hadn't run such a clean campaign. The buying uh, votes and shit. Yeah, probably. And, and it actually probably. working pisses me off. Mm-hmm. Is what it is. I think Max will have something maybe better for you. Hopefully. I don't know. I don't know if I want it. You think, think of this not, whole I, I think it's not shit. Worth. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's worth my time. I, I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm so tired of doing shit that's uh-huh. not in my control, you know? Yeah, I get that. 100%. Mm-hmm. I think you'll know what to do after this meeting at least because you'll have to think lo- lo- logistically you know your line, your brain will line back up and don't let the emotions get the best of you because i'd be fucking pissed i'd fuck i i i i don't know if i'd still work for this department after you know yeah but you, you have a harder core than i do you know what lenny told me mm. lenny told me at a certain point you got to start realizing that you got to stop having people's backs because ain't nobody got yours uh, and i don't really believe him and i still don't entirely kind of over two, almost 300 people in the city voted for you for sure you know, eric told me that a long time ago too when i first was a, a cadet because i trusted people to do paperwork and i got dapped over it and i was pissed yeah. same shit oh, man. i'm here if you need me okay? this is, this is yeah i appreciate it yeah mm-hmm. i right, take it easy all right we'll see you later vorte see you.